The Seattle Seahawks were a 7-9 football team entering the 2012 NFL Draft. However, two years later, they won their first ever Super Bowl and the following year, they were one bad play a call away from stealing one from Brady and Belichick. The franchise would go on to enjoy several more successful seasons as they posted a winning record in six of the last seven seasons and made the playoffs a total of five times during that span. And while the organization is now under a quote-unquote rebuild with the departure of Russell Wilson and Bobby Wagner, the last final remaining players from that Super Bowl championship team have finally moved on. Therefore, it's without a doubt that Seattle's 2012 draft class was instrumental in constructing a team that would flex their dominance throughout the NFC West over the next decade. Yet if we go back to 10 years ago to the draft, many of the media pundits blasted the organization labeling their 2012 class the worst draft haul. Run it back. Guys, before we continue, I gotta give a shout out to the sponsor of this video, Keeps. Keeps is a subscription service that helps men keep their hair. With two out of three men experiencing hair loss at the age of 35, now is the time to proactively take care of your precious hair. And what's more, you can do this all in the comfort of your own home. No more doctor appointments or awkward pharmacy purchases as Keeps delivers everything to your front door at half the cost of traditional pharmacies. They even assist you throughout the process as they have a 24-7 support team with expert medical advisors to assist you. So whether you're looking to prevent hair loss or stimulate hair growth, Keeps is the answer to your problems. So do yourself and your missus a favor and make that necessary investment on your hair. Hair loss stops with Keeps and to get 50% off your first order, go to Keeps.com slash Clash or Sports. That's Keeps.com slash Clash or Sports. Once again, thanks to Keeps for sponsoring this video. So before we delve into the draft, let's take a look at Seattle's 2011 campaign. As mentioned earlier, they finished two games below 500 for third in the NFC West, missing out on the playoffs. Former second round pick Tavares Jackson was the starting QB who struggled for much of the regular season hanging on to the football and finished the campaign throwing 14 TDs to 13 picks. Much of Seattle's offense came through the run game of Marshawn Lynch and from rookie wide receiver Doug Baldwin, while in defense, the team ranked 7th in the league, allowing only 315 points. They already had the main core of the Legion of Boom after they drafted Earl Thomas and Cam Chancellor in 2010 and snagged Richard Sherman in the 5th round of the 2011 NFL Draft. Head coach Pete Carroll, who arrived in Seattle in 2010, was still finding his feet in the league after two consecutive 7-9 seasons. He had the right foundational pieces on offense and defense, but was still missing the most important position on the team, the quarterback. On March 18, 2012, just a little over a month before the draft, Seattle's GM John Schneider signed former Green Bay Packers backup quarterback Matt Flynn to a $19.5 million contract as a team's starting QB. Having been groomed under Aaron Rodgers and notching two impressive starts under his belt, many believe Pete Carroll brought in Flynn with plans to lead the Seattle Seahawks in the 2012 season. Then came the 2012 NFL Draft. This was a draft that featured an abundance of talent, particularly in the quarterback position with Andrew Luck and Robert Griffin III. The Seahawks draft objectives were quite clear. They needed a pass rusher who could really tilt the field along with a linebacker and add some depth and competition at multiple other positions. So as teams began wheeling and dealing via trades, three quarterbacks would be drafted in the top 10. Seattle had the 15th overall pick after trading down with Philly, and when they were up on deck, their pick was met with mixed reactions from fans. With the 15th pick in the 2012 NFL Draft, the Seattle Seahawks select Bruce Irvin, defensive end, West Virginia. So the knock on Bruce Irvin was that although he was arguably the most natural pass rusher in the draft, he was not a run defender and had serious character issues with many teams taking him off their draft boards. Seattle's selection of Irvin surprised many scouts and analysts and drew a lot of criticism as no major mock drafts with the likes of ESPN, Mel Kuyper and Mike Mayock even had the pass rusher being selected in the first round. That being said, Bruce played for the Seattle Seahawks during his rookie contract from 2012 to 2015 and was a solid member on the Seahawks defense that played a large role in the franchise's first championship. After his contract expired, Irvin signed with the Oakland Raiders and made stops in Atlanta and Carolina before returning back to Seattle in 2020. 
However, a torn ACL in Week 2 ended his return to the Emerald City and the pass rusher signed with the Bears practice squad last season. All in all, Bruce Irvin's career has been fairly successful in his 10 years in the league. He's amassed a total of 52 sacks, 64 tackles for a loss, 16 forced fumbles, and 3 interceptions. While he wasn't the most dominant pass rusher or best available player when Seattle selected him, Irvin still turned out a great NFL career. With the 47th pick in the 2012 NFL Draft, the Seattle Seahawks select Bobby Wagner, linebacker, Utah State. Seattle's next pick was in the second round when they selected Bobby Wagner of Utah State with the 47th pick. This pick, like the one before, raised some eyebrows as a few draft experts had Wagner going in the third round all the way to even a late round draft pick. One PFW draft expert said of the linebacker, he's a developmental prospect who too often looked like Tarzan but played like Jane in college. And Mel Kuyper blasted the Seahawks for trading down from the 43rd pick while losing out on linebacker Michael Kendricks who he had listed as significantly better. After a decade, not much has to be said about Bobby Wagner's career in the NFL. His resume stacks up with the best of them and it can be argued he was the best linebacker to come out of that draft. A shoe in for Canton, Bobby played 10 seasons with the Seattle Seahawks before being released and signed with division rivals the LA Rams. During his time at Lumen Field, Wagner amassed a total of 1,383 tackles, 23 and a half sacks, 68 tackles for a loss, and 11 interceptions. He was a leader of the Seahawks defense, serving as a team captain six times during his tenure. For his awards and accolades, the linebacker made a total of eight consecutive Pro Bowls along with six first-team All-Pro selections and was a member of the 2010 All-Decade team. But most importantly, Bobby Wagner played a huge role in helping the franchise secure their first championship and become perennial Super Bowl contenders for much of the decade. With the 75th pick in the 2012 NFL Draft, the Seattle Seahawks select Russell Wilson, quarterback, Wisconsin. The drafting of Russell Wilson in the third round caught many off guard, particularly because the Seahawks dumped quite a bit of money inciting Matt Flynn a month prior, and due to the fact that many experts just couldn't wrap their heads around how a 5'10 quarterback could survive in this league. Russ's height was the biggest issue as many deemed he was simply too small for the NFL, with Bleacher Report calling the selection of the QB the worst move of the draft, and Mel Kuyper compared Russell Wilson to another former Seahawks quarterback in Seneca Wallace. Nonetheless, head coach Pete Carroll still decided to roll the dice on his third round pick and select the diminutive QB. Ultimately, Russell Wilson eventually won the starting QB job during training camp and preseason as he beat out Matt Flynn and Tavares Jackson. During Russell Wilson's tenure in Seattle, he led the team to back-to-back -back Super Bowl appearances, winning one and just missing out on a second after a game-ending interception in the end zone. He helped Seattle establish themselves as contenders in the NFL after posting nine consecutive seasons with a winning record and getting them into the playoffs four times in the last decade. Even when the team transitioned away from the Legion of Boom, Russ continued to put Seattle on his back and single-handedly kept them in games. And while many were surprised to hear of the Russell Wilson trade to the Denver Broncos, his importance to the Seattle Seahawks organization cannot be underestimated. He is their greatest player ever and a future Hall of Famer. The rest of the players that rounded up Seattle's 2012 draft class included the likes of running back Robert Turpin, who played 82 games for four NFL teams, corner Jeremy Lane, who was a decent contributor to the Legion of Boom, and guard J.R. Sweezy, who has over 100 career NFL starts. And yet, it's interesting to know that after this draft, many experts gave this draft hall letter grades of C's and D's. However, one particular writer for Bleacher Report, who participated in the pre-draft coverage, slammed Seattle's draft hall by saying, after one of the worst picks in the first round I can remember, the Seattle Seahawks didn't draft any position of need or draft for the future. Pete Carroll is proving why he didn't make it in the NFL the first time. Not only was Bruce Irvin a reach at number 15, the Seahawks proved they were oblivious to their madness by celebrating their selection. And as if the day wasn't bad enough, Seattle selecting Russell Wilson, a QB who doesn't even fit their system, was by far the worst move of the draft. With two of the worst moves of the draft, Seattle's the only team that received an F on draft day. With that being said, clearly many of the analysts missed the mark with their assessment. Seattle's 2012 draft class took the 7-9 and nine team and turned them into Super Bowl champions and perennial playoff contenders for years to come. 
This is the draft that brought them two future Hall of Famers, a solid pass rusher, two reliable backup role players, and a starting guard. In hindsight, that's one heck of a haul for John Schneider and Pete Carroll. And ultimately, many of those same experts and analysts that crucified Seattle for their 2012 draft class reevaluated this haul as an A+.